guys this is the um chicken bones that um left over from the korean sweet and spicy fried chicken so i don't want to waste it um this um chicken bones so i was decided to make um homemade chicken broth since we have all the ingredients at home so why not it's good for cold weather like today it's been right it's been raining for two days now here in scotland so i've decided to make um homemade chicken broth which is kind of like good for this kind of weather so here's the ingredients it's so simple and it's straightforward you can put all together in the pan and just leave it until it's boiled so i'll show you the ingredients here's um ginger cut into much thick um, here's carrots, roughly chopped, one stalk of celery, two cloves of garlic, um, half teaspoon of thyme, um, one onions, and fresh parsley from our little garden. <laughs> so proud, so proud of that thing. At least we got a little bit of spices from our garden. windy this past few days or it's not just windy it's raining for past few days so I decided that um chicken broth would be a good a good soup for this kind of weather so let's start cooking guys that was so this one is just so easy you just put all all the seasoning all or the spices in it just put it all together here that. drop it all in that this is so simple guys simple but nutritious and here's the dry time it's about half uh, Half a teaspoon but again you can you can put any amount as you prefer so I've add already um, salt and pepper on this one <clears throat> so now it's ready to it's ready to go if you don't have um, a rice cooker or a slow cooker you can use the pan let's just put it in the in low heat low medium heat and just um until the chicken broth or all the vegetables soft and they'll be ready so just for um quickness just for quickness and easier so that i will not be able to like be visit about it because you know i have kids to tend to so i it's easier for me to put in here so right need to do the setting my husband did the setting wrong so preset we put it in porridge which is not porridge there and I'll just put it for an hour and I will check it later on and and if need to be if need to be cooked longer and I'll just put it back again so this um, this rice cooker guys it's um it's not broken it's just it won't close so I will put another I will put um cookbook in it to make it close it's just a spring that's that's not working. I don't want to. Yes. Can't we do this or yes or no? What? You can't do this yes or no. What's that? Can we do this yes or no? Oh, if Cassin can use that one. Yes. Yes or no. Um. Yes. Okay. You're giving that one to Cassin. No, just keeping it. Okay. So guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Get like. Um, advertisement 
so now yeah i've used the book so the, uh, the lid would close so again i don't want to throw it guys because um i kind of like feel kind of like feel um bad throwing this stuff that's still working all i need is just put a book on the end it will will do fine or unless i'm gonna gonna buy a spring and to replace it but it's doable so i've decided to just keep this one for now which is well which is good save money well here it is i'm just checking that this like air vent won't like won't covered with this book but that's 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 done and i will check it back later on now so that you can get all the flavor and the juices from this um bones and vegetables you need to like squeeze it or freeze it you have to like freeze it there you see that you have to press it hard so that you get all the juices and the flavor okay so here's our homemade chicken broth um i've added a little bit of salt and black pepper this is now our finished product this is um the homemade chicken broth um palalamigin lang muna natin to and then um we'll put it in the fridge or in the freezer if you don't if you're not planning to use it sooner you can freeze it and just take it out before before you make your soup and, and that would be quite handy abangan you guys on my next vlog i'm gonna um i'm gonna show you and i'm gonna show you how i've used this chicken broth and thanks guys for watching if you like this video please give likes comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye